Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dave again. So in this one, I thought we'd get into why your gas prices are getting ready to spike, how bad it's gonna get through the summer. Uh, I, I laugh, like everything's going through the roof. Uh, this one's just a classic supply and demand thing, but let's dive into it and I'll get to explaining what's going on. All right, guys, so let's get into this one. So we've got sort of a two-pronged problem going on here when it comes to gas. So we've got a short-term problem that's going to affect part of the country. And then we have a longer-term problem that's going to affect all of us for the summer. So let's get into the short-term pain first. So if we take and look, yesterday, one of the largest pipelines in the country was taken offline due to some ransomware. So not China, not Russia. Don't believe your buddy. That's like, oh, they got hacked. Like, that's not what happened. Uh, classic ransomware. So basically it encrypted their systems and you got to pay a ransom fee to get it unencrypted. Now it looks like they caught it early and they're working to sort of mitigate the problems. It did take out some of their systems, but they had to take the entire pipeline offline to sort of solve for this. So big deal here because this pipeline is 45% of the East Coast fuel capacity. And we'll get into why this is an even bigger deal here in the second part, the part that's gonna affect us for the summer. But this thing pumps, I mean, it's 5,500 miles long and it pumps two and a half million barrels of gasoline per day. So that's a lot of fuel. That's a lot of trucks to try to make up for having this thing offline. So, you know, you guys on the East Coast, New York, Maryland, uh, Jersey, be ready. Your prices are gonna skyrocket. There's a, there's just no way you take 45% of capacity offline and you don't see a massive increase. It's not Uncle Joe doing this one. You know, it's not the government. It's literally a supply issue in one of the transporters. So, yeah, so be ready on the East Coast. You guys are getting ready to see a spike. I'd be surprised if you make it out of the weekend and into next week and you're not feeling it already then. So that's our first gas issue where we're going to see prices increase. So you'll hear about that one in the news start to trickle out. And then the second one we're going to see happening this summer. So we saw it come back out at the end of end of April here. They're predicting a gas shortage. This is CNN. Uh, the other one was CNBC. And I'll link all these links down in the description. But what you're going to see uh, and this one's caused by a shortage in drivers, truck drivers primarily. So they just can't get gas to the stations because there's not enough drivers. You know, when the <laughs> hit, they came out of the market, there was already a shortage anyway. You know, if we think about truck driving, do you really want to go become a truck driver now? Autonomous vehicles are coming. You know, this is a dying job and people are fleeing it. And then new new people aren't coming into the market just because they see it too. This, this isn't, you know, the writing's on the wall. So yeah, this CNN article highlights the shortage of truckers. Uh, encourage you to read it if you like reading CNN. That's up to you. Um, but what it's doing is it's forcing. I mean, it's it's forcing wages to go up, which is good. You know, your average person definitely needs to make more. Um, if we take and look, the crisis has gotten so bad. There's actually a company in Texas. Uh, they they handle and haul like a lot of fracking type stuff. So um, you know, fly ash whatever that is, cement, salt. So they're paying some of their drivers up to $14,000 a week. Now that's on the super high end. Your average frack sand hauler makes 10 to 13 grand a week. I still feel like that's pretty sweet money. Um, if you get down in there, even their long haul drivers are making eight to nine grand a week. So, you know, if you've got two years of experience and you've got prior experience, you know, hauling this type of stuff, you can get down there and make a bunch of money you know, assuming that's something that you want to do. But this article was good. Uh, it highlighted that there's a million drivers short just to meet the current economic demand. So, I mean, getting in make some money. The other thing to look at, so if we look at April's jobs report, which came out yesterday, uh, as lackluster as that thing was, but transportation and warehousing lost 74,000 jobs. So I don't think we've dented that million uh, at all. So if anything, we're going to see these guys continue to make more money. So 
Expect that eventually this pours into shipping. Those costs are going up, but it's definitely going to affect you for gas. You know, a lot of people are traveling within the U.S. this year. You know, the East Gate of Yellowstone opened yesterday. We're already seeing a huge influx here in town. People are here. Campgrounds are full. You know, our campgrounds aren't taking any new reservations. If you don't already have one, you're, you're pretty much hosed for the summer. So people are going to be driving. Demand will be up. The ability to get gas to stations is going to be down. So you're going to see prices rise. I think 20, 30% is in outside of the realm. We'll, we'll start bumping up against that $4 a gallon gas again. Now that's here. Like I know some of your coastal cities and coastal states, you know, California, New York, looking at you guys, I can't imagine what you guys are going to pay in gas. Uh, definitely no thanks. But so be ready, especially as you're traveling across. The other thing to think about, too, is if you're going to hit the road this summer, you know, maybe take a couple extra gas containers with you. You may come to a gas station that doesn't have gas. It's theoretically very possible. Uh, you know, you just can't. It's, don't don't run her down to E and then get to a gas station that's out of gas. You know, I mean, I don't even know if AAA is going to be able to bail you out in some of these scenarios. I mean, that's doom and gloom, worst case scenario. But be ready for that. Think about these kind of things as you're hitting the road, you know, as as these prices continue to climb, it's not the government, it's not Uncle Joe, you know, and it's it's not 1973 again. Don't let your Uncle Larry sort of convince you of that one. It's it's not an oil embargo. In 73, we had an oil embargo caused by OPEC trying to stop Israel. Uh, still mad about that one because that got rid of muscle cars, which are awesome. But that's not happening either. It's literally just the shortage of truck drivers. And now in the short term, it's this pipeline being shut down due to this ransomware nonsense. So that's what's going on. That's what you got to look forward to this summer. Higher gas prices, uh, higher ammo prices, higher higher prices, period. Uh, but that's what's causing this one. Supply and demand shortage of truck drivers. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one.